Why did he go to the city? He hates the city. Who knows? Business? Duplessis moves in mysterious ways. He's probably using up the last bit of lead in his pencil before he slips into old age. Your mother. Did he take pencil with him? He hates birthdays. I said that, Nomza. We were outvoted. What about he doesn't want to celebrate his birthday? He's going to be unbearable. Birthdays are fun. Exactly. You wait and see. His grumpy little face will light up like a Christmas tree. Oh, I'm late. You're always late. I've got to look after Fatani's boss and I'm late. Well, have a good day. I will. I hope his friends turn up. Well, I spoke to them on the phone. They said they would. But it was past sundown and they are Anders' friends, so who knows? I thought you'd like to know. He's back. Action quick, stations, quick, everyone. Quick, Kids, get your plates away. Now, remember, not a word. Let him think we've all forgotten his birthday. Pretend you've got work to do with him out in the bush. I have got work to do with him out in the bush. Well, just keep him out of the way. What's going on here? Nothing. That's it. Nothing. Where have you been? Oh, is she really this important? She's known as the company hatchet if she doesn't like what we're doing here. OK. What do you want me to do exactly? She wants to be taken out on a game drive. Why me? I'm not a senior ranger. Because you're the best with people. Okay, everywhere she looks, I want to see animals. Not like yesterday where guests saw nothing. Oh, it was a hot day. It happens. I don't care. Animals everywhere. <sighs> oh, God, she's early. Go and get ready, I'll stall her. You promise me you'll impress her? Is she really this important to you? Yes. I'll have it eaten out of your hand now. Go. Rosie, nice to meet you. Same here. Welcome. Thank you. Would you like a drink? I'll have some bubbly. Look at that herd. I reckon we've got enough to sell now. Yeah, it's been OK here. Yeah. OK? These are the first animals we've ever sold. That's way beyond OK. Everything all right? Yeah. How did you find the city? Well, it was the end of this big old tar road. Hard to miss. Well, if you're not even going to pretend to be civil. <clears throat> Morning, Hobie. Have you left a little present for us? Come on, man. You've just got to find the line is. Rosie is going to show you a good time. She's one of our best rangers. Great. I'm looking forward to it. I'll do my best. Oh, I thought I'd end up at the Bushman Flat Swat Hall in uh, about an hour. Right. Oh, right. Shall we get going? What she's trying to tell you is that you have shaving foam on your ear. Stages of man are equivalent to seven days of the week, and I suppose Duplessis is in the early hours of Sunday morning. That's a sobering thought. Hold your end up. Mm. Sunday morning. Read the papers, lunch, songs of praise, then off your perch. Nothing. Oblivion. Sarah, will you please try to concentrate on the job in hand? Sorry. I didn't mean to be depressing. Besides, you're well into Thursday evening yourself. <laughs> this is a lot of trouble to go to for a man you profess to loathe. I don't loathe him. That would suggest I think anything of him at all. So it's not a blatant attempt to get into his... affections? Oh, don't be preposterous. The man is having a birthday. I thought a little celebration might spark up our grey existences. You say so? I do say so. Pass the hammer. All right, let's sedate her and then we can see if Hobie's managed to impregnate her or not. Can you just keep quiet, please? Sorry. It won't be for want of trying, that's for sure. 
It's bloody shut up, Provenian. Sorry. Oh, come on, we haven't got all day. She's as big as a barn door. <laughs> what did you get up to in the city? But your hands are shaking. It's a sight to out, man. Give me another dot. I don't know what you want a job doing. <laughs> oh, you're right. Those sights are terrible. You're getting old, dupe. I'm really sorry. There's not much moving. <laughs> Apart from the flyers. I'm sure we'll see some animals soon. So, tell me about Fatani. What would you like to know? Mm, is he a good employer? Oh, I think so. Well, what are his worst points? If he had any, I wouldn't tell you. He has given me a massive opportunity and he'll always be grateful to him. Hmm. Engenders loyalty. Okay. So then, what are his good points? Well, he's always cool, calm, unflappable. Nothing ever phases him. Come. You hurry up, I'm starving. What was the food like in the city? Nah, stupid. Menus the size of books. All a man needs to be asked is how he wants his steak done. Caroline thought you might be going for a last fling. <laughs> oh, that woman. Her mind is in the gutter. Nah, nothing. Are you sure? I've seen Obi give that girl a hell of a good time. Well, that's my worry. I think old Hobie might be firing blanks. Hobie? I don't talk rubbish. Look at him, he's magnificent. Well, looks can be deceptive. The question is, what do we do now? Uh, now, we go home and have a good steak. Rare. See, we've had some miscarriages. And now this. I think this pride needs some new blood. Another lion? Yeah, young and frisky. Shake these girls up a bit. What about Obi? I hope he'll have to deal with it. That's the way of the world. If anyone smokes near that, the whole place could go up. Well, what is it? A cocktail. My own invention. A spitting cobra. Why do you call it that? Because it's got a hell of a bite. They can make you go blind. <laughs> Oh, Tandy, do you know where Max is? He's supposed to be bringing the beer and wine. If you see him, then say hi for me. Treble? I heard Tandy and Max arguing. She said she hardly saw him anymore. Olivia, you are so nosy. What did Max say? <laughs> How's it, ladies? Where's the old man? I beg your pardon? Duplessis. We are to celebrate the old reprobate's birthday. Oh, cool. Are you friends of Anders? Oh, well, we sure as hell aren't the strippers, lady. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're doing. Checking the fences. <laughs> you're keeping me away from the house so they can organise some god-awful birthday party. What party? My 60th birthday party. 60th? I've no idea. Many happy returns. Yeah, you're the worst liar I ever met. What did I say? No fuss, no bother. I don't celebrate my birthday. I don't celebrate anybody's birthday. Well, what could I do? Once Caroline had the idea for a party, yep. the kids wouldn't stop talking about it. God and man just grow old in peace. Hey, hey, slow down. I've got to keep you out here for another two hours. Two hours? While they get the house ready. Yeah, well, I haven't eaten. There's a couple of noms as pies in my bag. You'll live. If I wanted a party, I would have asked for one. Happy birthday, you grumpy old git. Hey, we could borrow one of the young lions from Mara. Save us a few quid. No, I don't want any other lions yet. They'll fight for dominance of the pride. Obi will lose. I'm going to throw Obi away like an old shoe. Forget it, my friend. It's just not going to happen. I... This is awesome. 
We're lucky. Sometimes you come here and nothing. Well, I'm not having any of it. Why not? Because I don't like playing God and I don't want to see Obi get killed. Well, if Obi's got any sense, he'll just slink off for a couple of days. Some bananas. You don't know Obi. You'll fight to the end and he will get killed. Thank you. Yeah, well, we don't know that. And we've got to take a risk. It's easy for you to say. Look, the young Mara lion will cover our lionesses, hopefully get them pregnant, and we'll trick Obi into thinking they're his. It's not a very honourable thing to do, eh? Yeah, we're going to have to castrate Hobie at the same time, too, to make sure he's not weakening our pride. Why not just dress him in a big tutu and get it over with? Come on, Duke. If we ignore this, our pride will dwindle to nothing, and you know it. Yeah, yeah. I will never forget that. Thank you so much, Rosie. You're very welcome. So, how long does it take to get all those animals together like that? Sorry? <laughs> I've been to zoos that have been less organised than that. I'm sorry, Fatan, it was so desperate for you to be impressed. <laughs> and I kept on seeing his fat head pop <laughs> over the grass. <laughs> Please don't be cross with him. You know, he's very proud of Mara and he wants everyone to have a wonderful time. I never get cross with people who show initiative. What's behind that gate over there? That's my family's game park, Leopard's Den. Oh, could I see it? I don't think Fatani would like that. <laughs> I'm not asking for Tony. It's just a modest little place, nothing like Mara. Humor me, Rosie. I'd really like to see it. He's magnificent. Oh, he's aggressive. I mean, he's taking over the leadership of the biggest pride. So what happened to the old Pedro? Stuffed and on the wall above the bar. And you don't mind us borrowing him for a few days? Be my guest. You're very cheerful. Oh, God's in his heaven and all is well with the world. Just just um, give me some cubs when they're born. Your boss enjoying herself. Oh, how could she not? Your daughter's out there with her now and Rosie is something else. She has her moments. I don't know about this, Danny. Something doesn't feel right. Well, it is right. Come on, let's go home. How are they, Max? Thirsty. Do you know them, Nom, sir? Yes. What do you think? They are horrible. <laughs> you have a great gift for cutting to the heart of the matter, Nom, sir. Mrs. Duplessis wouldn't allow them onto the property. Maybe I should go and rescue Evan and Olivia before they get corrupted. What was Mrs. Duplessis like, Nom, sir? Oh, she was very beautiful. Calm. We all loved her very much. Beautiful and calm. You've got no chance. Yeah, you go get him, boy. Huh? Lights down low. Bit of Sinatra. Bob's your uncle. Hope he's not getting any younger. Yeah, which is why we're doing this. Yeah, well. We release another line in here. Hope you'll fight to the death and get it. Well, there isn't another way, and we need new blood. Look, just because you're old, getting older, and Hobie's not in his first flush doesn't mean a thing. What are you on about, Trevenia? You're not connected. Hobie's not a metaphor for your life. Would say if Hobie gets ripped to pieces tonight, I mustn't take it personally. Hey, we better get back. We're expected. Danny. He's a jolly good fellow. He's a jolly good fellow. Can't you just shoot me? Well, gladly, but you're the guest of honour. Caroline, it looks really, really good. Mm. Yes, mm. Mm. not that anyone will notice it. Oh, good, Max, will you put it right down on that table? Mm. Yes, Duplessis and his friends will skip the champagne and go straight to the cleaning fluid. <laughs> well, I think it looks fantastic. What do you think, Nobsa? I'll go and hide the cleaning fluid. <laughs> <laughs> now, remember, a lot of people have put a lot of effort into this. Yeah, yeah. Glad I didn't ask them to. You will be surprised. You will be delighted. I'd rather have my teeth pulled with rusty pliers. Surprised. 
Delighted. Yeah, yeah. They're coming! They're coming! Oh, action oh. Oh. What was the last thing I said? I don't do birthdays. Hmm? I made you this. And I don't do presents. Show some grace, old man. Yeah, come on, <laughs> open it. It's Abby Girl, our first big cat. Oh, yeah. Aww. Thanks, boy. I looked up the friends page in your address book and there were two names in it. <gasps> what? Berry <laughs> <laughs> Cory! <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it, man. Hey, throw the old man. Go. Hey, 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 hey. So beautiful. Thank you. It's just a drop in the ocean compared to Mara. What's business like on this side of the fence? Good, thank you. Shall we, uh... Actually, I need the bathroom. Oh, right, well, just make a bit of noise and scare the snakes away. <laughs> You've got to be joking. I'll look the other way. Just take me to the nearest bathroom, please. Mara's about half an hour away. Half an hour? But there must be something closer. <laughs> hey, that was a good one, eh? <laughs> right, right. Now go on me. One, two, three. I'm really sorry to gay crush like this. <laughs> not a problem when a girl's got to go. Are these all guests? Sadly not. Friends. <coughs> sort of friends. <sighs> and how long have you and your brother been involved in game catches? 20 years. More. Yeah. You see, we've got a surfeit of wildebeest. Now, it wouldn't really be a big job for you, but it means a great deal to us, and we'd love to work with someone we know. Oh, Alex, you've got a deal. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, you're responsible for all this. Oh, the kids badgered me into doing something. Well, uh, thank you very much. It means a lot to you. Oh, you're very welcome out this. No, what's wrong? Uh, uh, just a bit of indigestion. I, uh... Indigestion? Yeah, I got a bit excited. I drank a bit fast. You're 60, not six. Yeah, I know, I know. I'll be here, but... Hey, good! Happy birthday, Dan. Oh, nice to see you, man. <laughs> hey, how did you know? Danny Ray. Hey, Danny, well done. <laughs> hey, hey, meet Caroline. Caroline's my son, Kirk. Oh, pleased to meet you. Hello. No. <laughs> Kirk, meet Barry. He's uh, my old Tommy from the army. Hey, Barry. Barry, meet my boy, Kirk. Kirk. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear about your father. This is my father. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he's funny, you know. I I get some more. Hey, Barry. Hey, Barry. Hey, Barry. How long have you been here, Caroline? Oh, just weeks, really. I'm trying to teach them some business sense. Oh, and how's that going? What was all that about? What? You and Tandy. I told her that from now on, I just want us to be good friends. Oh, sorry. Don't be, I was uh, holding it back anyway. I thought you really liked her. I'm looking for something a bit more than like, Rosie. Oh, I hope you find it. Has Fatani made his pass yet? No, he hasn't. You're not quite the judge of character you think you are. Here you are. He's just biding his time. Max? Yes, Rosie. Get lost. Hurry! Go! Yes! <gasps> it was him! Come for my birthday kiss. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Sorry, my mistake. If it wasn't your birthday, Duplessis, I'd wring your miserable 60-year-old neck. 
I think the generator's gone. I better go and fix it. Come on, man, Doc. The beers are getting warm. Yeah, all right, I'm coming, man. Hold your horses. Oh, give him a break. He's an old man. Yeah. Does this happen often? We probably haven't paid our diesel bill again. Oh. Herbie, I'll fetch the rifles. Mm. Hey, hey, slow down. I told you this would happen. Look! What is it, Evan? What? What is it? Boy says he's all blood. Hey. How do you see that going at that speed? <laughs> oh, well, he's got the eyes of a vulture. Obi! Oh, oh, oh. Obi! Doop. It's the Mara lion. Who oh, is he at? Looks like Hobie's giving him a right going over. I'll check on him tomorrow. Go, Obi! You the man, boy! You still got it! <laughs> Go, boy! <laughs> There's life in the old boy yet, I told you! You were right and I was wrong. He still might be firing blanks, though. Yeah, we'll see. What do you mean? Hey, do. Last one home buys the beers. Ah, <laughs> hey, 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 you don't have to buy any beers. Whoa, <laughs> man! Sorry, man. <laughs> Fatani, you look worried. I was. Where have you been? There was a bit of a party at Leopard's Den. At Leopard's Den? A very interesting party, actually. Where's my room? Let me show you. Wait in my office. How is she? How do you think she is? What else could I do? He said to show her a good time. She wanted to see Leopard's Den, so I took her. And then she wanted to pee, and we're having a bit of a party for duplicy. She's ecstatic. What? She complimented me on the flexibility and the dedication of my stuff. Oh, that's brilliant. Not that I needed her to tell me you were special. I knew that the first time I set eyes on you. Well, it's amazing what a bucket of feet can do. And she had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when you laugh. What? I want to kiss you. What? What are you doing? You feel the same, right? No! I should go. Rosie? Rosie? Oh. What's happened? I need to talk to you. Oh, it's the middle of the night, can't it wait? No, it can't. <sighs> I wouldn't hurt Evan for the world, you know that. I know, I know. I just saw blood, I overreacted. But you shouldn't be racing your mates. Ah, he hurt himself because I braked. And I braked because I had a 
pain in my chest. Indigestion, you tell me. No, not indigestion. I'm having for a few weeks now. Why didn't you say something? I went to see the specialist in the city. What did they say? Angina. It's when your arteries are all furred up. Yeah, did they give you anything for it? And you said, yeah, well, these should reduce the number of attacks. They'll lower your blood pressure. Yeah. Anything else? I realise that I'm a liability now. You're not a liability. You just need to take things easier for a bit. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I'm going to take more of a back seat from now on. Back seat? Oh. Well, you can manage things here on your own. You don't need me. That's not true. And Rosie. She's a natural ranger, ready to step up. Come on, dupe. You are leopards, Den, and there's no reason in the world why you won't outlive us all. I feel old, man. You're not old? Nah. My mind is made up. And if you've got any respect for me, you won't try and change it. I, I was showing off it should never have happened. I don't care. Probably knocked some sense into him. Where's Kirk? He sends his apologies. Says uh, thanks for the party, really. He left early for Cape Town. Such a lovely young man. Mm. Are you absolutely sure you're his father? I owe you an apology too, Caroline. <sighs> don't waste your breath. Why didn't you ask Kirk to stay on? There's no need. I'm going to go and stay with him in the city for a while. You hate the city. Things change, him. Are you sure? I saw the prescription. It's an antidepressant. He's not depressed. Well, he wasn't, but I guess if you're telling a man he might die, you give him some pills just in case. Poor Dup. Why on earth didn't he tell us? Because he's a proud man. Maybe a few days relaxing with Kirk's just what he needs. Oh, no, he needs to be here with us. We need to get him up and back in the saddle. <laughs> Danny, he's got angina. A man like Dub can't fight depression with just pills. He'd be dead inside a year. You said if he looks after himself, he's got years left in him. It's not just his body, it's his mind, his self-worth. We need to get him back out there, in the bush, working, doing what he loves to do. I suppose. I think it's his only chance. Thanks, guys. Ah, oh, goodbye. Rosie. Can I talk to you? Look, Fatani, I've decided to resign. Rosie, no. You gave me a start, and I'll always be grateful for that. It was a stupid mistake, Rosie. Please forgive me. Look, I know what I did was unforgivable. I was excited. I thought you felt the same way. I don't. Sorry. But does that mean we can't work together anymore? You crossed the line. You can't just step back over it again. Please, Rosie. I just wanted to bring your lion back. I'll send someone for the trailer. Uh, Rosie. Can I speak to you? Just one moment. Now? What was that about? What's this? We call it fruit. Don't fuss, man. Hey, do. We're going to the bar for a sharpener. You coming? No, he is not. Do you mind? 
But don't look at me. He'll drink himself into oblivion for all I care. I'll give it a rain check, boys. Let me hold it, boy. You sure you're all right? Hey, come on, Jim. Work to be done. What? Well, before I send that lion back to Mara, I got a little gift from him. What's he got? You so, so do not want to know. So we inseminate the lioness. Hobie thinks the cubs are his. I need your help. I'm not working today. You know why. Come on, shift your ass. Steady, Danny. He's not well. I am fine. You're not well? Just go to the bar. Come on, he's shirking. Come and do a decent day's work. I'm not carrying you. Danny? Danny. If he says he's not working, he's not working. He doesn't have to explain himself to you. So you're going to let me down, Duplessis, Evan, Hobie? He's in no state to go anywhere. Maybe give him a couple more days, Danny. Oh, what are you, Duplessis? A man or a mouse? OK, Tana. Nobody talks to my friends like that. All right, all right, all right. I will help you with your lioness. Stay where you are, Anders. Can't you lot just bloody leave me alone? This is all Myra land. And Leopard's Den is over there. So if we bought them out, we'd be the biggest game farm in the area. Yep. A feather in both our caps. I've made some offers in the past. Obviously not good enough offers. Oh, it's not that simple. These are my neighbors. It isn't because you're sweet and rosy, is it? No. Look, one day they're going to overextend themselves and then they'll go bust. That's when I'll make my move. Patience is a very overrated virtue. I want Leopard's Den for Tani. Get it for me. They're having some problems. If we just wait... Get it for me or find another job. I like feathers. There she is. Haha. <laughs> Beautiful day to be alive. Yeah, I know what you're doing, Trevenian. <laughs> you're so transparent. What? Goading me out here. Keep the silly old fool's pecker up. I want nothing to do with your pecker. I just want you by my side. Just being selfish. Everything I've learned about Africa, I've learned from you. I've got so much more to learn, I need you to teach me. I can't do this without you. I appreciate what you're saying, but you've proved yourself ten times over. You don't need me. So what, sitting on the veranda, reading the paper, or out here doing what you do? You tell me. Nah. I'm finished then. I know you're on antidepressants. <laughs> you what? I went through your pockets. How bloody dare you? I hated doing it. So why did you? Because you're my friend, and I'd do anything for my friend. There's no salvation in a bottle of pills, not for a man like you, Duke. Yeah, yeah. Completely transparent. <laughs> Shot, old boy. Hey, this is the bloody old thing. When I first met Duplessis, I, he was pathologically grumpy, aggressive, and barely house-trained. <laughs> then I watched as he took Evan under his wing, and I saw my son, my difficult, lonely little boy, blossom. And for that alone, I'll be forever in that man's debt. <laughs> Do you really think he'll go away? He's a very proud man. He thinks it's for the best. Very foolish man is what he is. Men like Duplessis can't express their emotions to women. So it's all right just smack them on the arse, is that what you're saying? <laughs> you could do a lot worse. That's what I'm saying. Hopefully that should get her pregnant. And Hobie will think he's a daddy again. <laughs> I'd like to have seen Fatani's face when Rosie took that beaten up pussycat back. <laughs> we are not amused. Ah, oh, she stop breathing. Hang on. Come on, girl. Come on, stay with us. 
You might need to breathe for us in a minute. Dupe, you listening to me? Denny. Come on, girl. Come on. One, two. Denny. What? Here he comes. Oh, no. Hold on, hold on. I've got your back. I've got you. Stay. That's slow. 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 It's okay. Stay. That's okay. Right, bit fast, don't you? Shame old Duke didn't have the manners to come and see us off. Yeah. Looks like you've got visitors. Who's that? Oh, look. Hi, I just wanted to thank you for welcoming me into your home yesterday. My pleasure. That's also not the only reason why I'm here, Mrs. Trevanion. <laughs> you know, I had a feeling you were going to say that. This is the best day of your life. Really? Why is that? Well, this is the day you get wealthy. I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. She's buying your heart, Sarah. How dare you come into our property and behave like this? Rosie. And as for you, Mum, look! He's dad and Duplessis. How do you know? Well, that's where they would have gone to inseminate the lioness. Well, let's go have a look. Rosie, I think you'll be quicker in this. Excuse me? Not now. Hold me! <laughs> <laughs>
Vincent. And Duplessis? Well, where's Duplessis? Turn my back on him in his hour of need. Oh! Mara needs to expand and we'll offer Lepo's den twice its market value. You want to go back to England? Do you think you can be a wildlife vet again? Next on ITV1. Hello, Lucy. How do you know my name? Because Mummy sent me to collect you from Carla's. Lucy! Fallen Angel. Meanwhile, on ITV2, Sam and Dean investigate the brutal killings of blondes in Supernatural. Oh, 